All right, today on Computer TV, we are going to talk about Windows 7 Starter Edition. I'm going to help you understand uh, what are the differences between Windows Starter and between Home Premium and the rest of the versions of Windows 7. There are quite a few myths out there about what you do and don't get in Windows 7 Starter Edition, and I'm going to help you uh, debunk those myths and get the facts straight. Now, uh, the first and most important myth is out there is that you would not get the ability uh, to run more than three programs concurrently. Now, the origin of that myth stems from uh, Microsoft originally uh, saying that there was only going to be three applications, but in the final version of Windows 7, you can definitely run more than three applications at the same time, and to prove it to you, this is an Acer Aspire 1 netbook, a uh, load of Windows 7 Starter Edition, and I'm going to hit uh, Alt-Tab right here, uh, and you will notice, check it out, look how many uh, applications are running. I think there's uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 applications running uh, right now, no problem, and that just goes to show you that that was definitely a myth. Uh, in the final version, you will definitely be able to run more than one application. Now, let's talk a little bit about the differences between uh, Windows 7 Home Premium uh, and the Starter Edition. There are differences, uh, but again, this is something for netbooks, for net tops, for small light computers, uh, you know, usually stuff with small screens or basic hardware just to get you on the web. You do not need to have all those features and Microsoft took them out uh, for A, for cost cutting and B, for resource management. And these computers uh, like netbooks have Atom processors, they have one gigabyte of memory. Uh, they don't need to have all these applications running in the background. So. The first thing that you're going to notice uh, with Windows 7 Starter Edition is that uh, some of the Aero features are gone. Now, Aero is uh, definitely something that's cool and it's eye candy, but it also takes system resources to run, and netbooks uh, don't really need all that stuff anyway. It's a bunch of bells and whistles uh, that you might not require on a netbook. So, uh, the first thing are Aero functionality. You're not going to be getting um, Aero glass, uh, which gives you like a translucency. Again, it's just prettiness, it's not really necessary. Uh, you also don't get Aero Peak, which is uh, basically a preview of what your look, what your application looks like when you go to the taskbar. Uh, now you're still getting that incredible uh, optimized taskbar, which is one of the most important changes of Windows 7. You're also getting that incredible resource management, which means that Windows 7 will run lighter, and it means that it'll also run faster on lower end hardware. You don't need to have a supercomputer uh, to run it. Now uh, the next thing. Uh, that's different from Windows 7 Starter and the Home Premium is personalization. Uh, little things like changing the colors of your windows and changing your desktop background, uh, you cannot change those on Windows 7. So if you right click on the desktop, uh, you will notice that there is no personalization. So that is a, uh, a minimal feature that gets removed uh, from Windows 7 Starter Edition. Now, uh, the next thing is no DVD playback. So Windows 7 Premium has the Home Premium has the ability to play DVDs and burn DVDs right off the bat because it comes loaded uh, with all the DivX codecs uh, natively. They're just in the package included. But Home Starter, again, it's going to be on a netbook. You see a DVD drive on here? I don't. That's because uh, there isn't one. And in turn, well, why would you want to play a DVD if there's no DVD drive? Uh, so again, that is another feature that you will be lacking within a 7 Home Starter, but again, it is not really that important. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at uh, is Media Center. Now, Home Premium, uh, Enterprise, uh, Professional, and Ultimate all have Windows Media Center, and you know that XP didn't have Windows Media Center. So if you're going on a netbook and you're coming from XP to Windows 7, uh, you're not missing anything. But if you were on Vista, you might have gotten used to Windows Media Center. Well, Windows Media Center uh, is kind of a memory hog, and also you're not really going to be watching a lot of media on your netbook. It's not meant for that. It's meant for surfing the web, doing a little Word, a little PowerPoint here and there, but basically uh, not meant for watching TV or media. So Media Center is not included in Windows 7 Starter Edition. Uh, the other thing is multi-monitor support. Uh, sometimes it's important to certain people to have multi-monitor support, and it is important on full-size desktops, but on a, a netbook like this, uh, you're basically never going to use it. You're always going to be using your single uh, laptop screen right here, your regular display, and in turn, you don't really need to add a second uh, monitor. If you want to be multitasking and you need two monitors, uh, the tiny little keyboard is not going to help, and the Atom processor is not going to be your best bet. You want something like a quad-core or a full-size desktop to do that type of multitasking. Uh, so that is also not included. And then finally, uh, it has to deal with home groups the last thing is home groups. Now, a home group is basically like a network that you start up at your home. Microsoft has renamed it to make it a little simpler because sometimes people hear the word uh, network and they get a little bit scared. Home groups are basically uh, a home network where you can share your pictures, your files, your folders, your documents, and your music, stuff like that. Uh, now, this doesn't remove home groups from your netbook. Windows 7 Start Edition does have home groups. The only difference being is that you can only join them. You cannot create them. Uh, so basically, if you're going to use this as the hub of your home media center, uh, it's not the best idea. 
uh, but you can of course join a home group and that is important because you can bring uh, your computer into your home group, share your folders and files and you can pull them off to put them onto your other computer or your network attached server. Uh, so basically those are the only real differences uh, between Windows 7 Starter Edition and all the other ones and that's what makes it really really good for netbooks and for net tops because they have features that you're never going to use. Uh, you in turn are going to use less memory and less processor to run the operating system and you won't have programs that are not going to run well uh, or slow down your computer further. Uh, so that is basically the facts of Windows 7 Starter Edition. Debugging the myths. If you have any questions feel free to email me. I'll see you guys next time.